Hey, so, um, over the weekend, it was my birthday, my 21st, usually guys look forward to their 21st, girls, I don't know if they do, but I was looking forward to it, but I was at a wedding, which, no big deal, it was a wedding, they'll obviously have a bar there, <laughs> um, no, I have not drank before, um, I have tried a little bit of champagne, but I was in Europe, so it was legal, and I didn't like it. So I was taking tiny sips and I left it. <laughs> no, I didn't get drunk either. The second time I had it, tried, I tried one little sip of red wine twice. Didn't like it. Try what else did I try? Oh yeah, I tried a, one sip of a spicy margarita. The first sip I'm like, mmm, this is good. The second sip I'm like, ew. What have you ordered? <laughs> and then we were in Reno, and I looked in my mom's glass. I'm like, oh, it looks like apple juice. I'm like, what are you drinking? She's like, apple juice. And I put it in my mouth, and she's like, it's wine. And I spit it back in my glass. She wasn't very happy about that. <laughs> and I said, why did you lie to me? I'm a very gullible person. And she said, I thought you'd be able to smell it. I'm like... Are, are you serious? Do you think I would actually be able to smell the wine in the type of glass you're drinking? I was just extremely thirsty, so. I didn't taste anything, because, you know, I was drinking it pretty quickly. But I spit it back in the glass, so. It wasn't even a bad taste one, though. Well. So. Here I am at a wedding, and it's daytime. So, obviously, there are no drinks in daytime except soda. And then before I drank my last Shirley Temple, the bartender was kind of flirting, and he was just being, he was like, extra sweet. Is that how you take it? Or, I mean, no, he's not gay, but I don't know. Maybe he was flirting, maybe he was not. He's like, extra sweet, cherry on top. Is that how you like it? And then again, he's like, extra sweet, right? Cherry on top. No bartender's ever asked me extra sweet, whether he was implying. Who knows? Anyway, for my birthday, I got a pretty good gift, and I'm not going to say it, because most of you will probably be like, most likely a lot of you are going to trick me, and I don't want that to happen. I'm just kidding. Only very few people, and if you really want to know what I got, private message me. Um, but also, what I did get was a new chair. I was really happy about that. I got it yesterday because I was in a hotel, so my parents really couldn't really give me a new chair during then. But I got it, I said too. Um, I really like this chair. Um, it's much comfier than my old one, which is made out of wood that I've had since I was five years old. This is leather, and it's so much comfier. I don't need to sit on my bed and do my homework anymore, which means I'm more focused. Speaking of homework, I'm actually doing it right now. I thought after I finished listening to Ryan's Roses, I would make a video. And for those of you who haven't noticed, um, my hair. I got my hair done um, two days ago for my birthday. So it's a little bit shorter. It looks shorter. It's actually... She didn't cut much off. She just curled it. So it's kind of curled. So it's a little bit shorter. My mom said, Trisha... You look so much better like this. If you look good, it reflects on us. I'm like, okay. But that she's the one who made me get it done. If you're gonna get a good hairstyle, go to Christopher Perry's hair salon. They are amazing. They do charge a lot, so if you're a guy, don't go there, but if you're a girl and go there. I highly recommend going there. They do charge it is pretty pricey, but um they do a good job. Always, I've gone there, and I highly, highly recommend it. So, back to the drinks. <laughs> so, I was so excited, because at the reception, they have a full bar. So, I came, and the people who were helping the bride and groom's parents, um, not the parents, but friends of the parents, were saying, hey, Trisha, happy birthday. A bunch of people who knew it was my birthday, they said happy birthday to me and my mom. And some people even gave us gifts. So sweet. Man. So I said, Trisha, happy birthday. I said, thank you. And they said, by the way, we just checked. Uh, we asked the bartender, good news, he has an apple teeny. 
I was like, oh, really? He said, yes, we made sure he had one. I'm like, oh, well, thank you. So I'm outside, and my dad's like, two Chardonnays, and he's like, and she'll have an appetini. And my dad had to blur down and say, oh, yeah, she's doing clean today. He's like, all right, can I see your ID? I'm like, oh, great. Thank you. I wanted to see if you would actually ask. So he's asking everybody else, and they said, well, you already served me. <laughs> so he's like, okay. He's like, here you go, appetini for you. I like, thank you, and I was like, kind of nervous, and I was like, okay. And I took a sip, and I'm so sorry. I didn't like it. At all. Sorry, this just keeps freezing. <laughs> I didn't like it, and I took a few sips, and I kind of left it. And I was like, how is it? I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, luckily, we didn't have to pay for it. Because, <laughs> old bars. I was like, this tastes so bad. <laughs> what have I ordered? And they put a cherry in it. And they're like, and it was like full up to the rim, so it was kind of spilling on my hands. So I just left it. And I went down there, and I'm like, hi. He's like, hi, you're not getting another drink. I didn't get drunk. He was just like, I was like, yeah, okay. I'm like, do you have any, do you have a Shirley Temple not on funk? He's like, here, why don't they give you a dirty shilly. It's like a little bit of alcohol on shilly temple. So looking for vodka, and that was pretty good. But I didn't finish it because my mom was like yelling. She wasn't yelling. She was just talking like, hey, do you have mixed drinks? Then my mom's talking over. She's like, Josh, I have birthday. I said, thank you. She's like, your mom's obviously acting really hyper right now, so don't listen to her. Just drink it. So dirty shilly. And yes, I did have my first drink for my dad. <laughs> and I was just like, it's tasting so bad. Dirty Shirley actually tastes like a Shirley Temple, so that was pretty good, but I didn't finish it again. And so then, I was really high heels, and as I was walking out, I fell. Luckily, nobody saw me, and I was like, oh my gosh, I can the bartender help me up. I said, I did not <laughs> He's a nice bartender, I should have given him a tip, and he was really nice, and he saw my watch. He said, oh my god, I should I get you more? I said, yeah, thank you. I said, thank you. Very nice bartender. Um... I didn't drink anything else that night. Uh, there was apple cider, but since I already have like two, since I already have Shirley Temple, I didn't want to drink another acid drink. I should have champagne. I said, you didn't know champagne? No, I didn't, because I, I don't like champagne. So, <laughs> that was the highlight of my night. Um, but overall, it was pretty good. And then the next day, um, yesterday, Went to a Mexican restaurant and my dad's like, "All right, Trisha, why don't you try a margarita for me? A few sips." And I said, "Okay." I said, "How about a pina colada?" And my mom's like, "Okay, if you order it, I'll share some with you." But actually, each of us ordered our own drinks. Um, and my dad's like, "Trisha just had the keep keep me started margarita. If you don't like it, I'll finish it." On top of that, my dad ordered a margarita, a classic margarita. So like, keep me started margarita. The waiter did not ask for my ID. So I tried it, and I'm like, okay, the kiwi strawberry. Oh, God, here goes the alcohol going down. <laughs> and so there's alcohol going down, and I'm like, okay, you know what, I can do this. So I was just drinking it, and it was actually really good, you know? Um, it's really hard, in my opinion, to drink alcohol while you're eating your food. I'm like soda. Like, you'll put, like, a chocolate in your mouth, and you'll drink soda with it. No biggie, you know? But it's different with alcohol. We should eat some food before, because I think that food would feel better that way. <laughs> um... And it was actually really, really good. Um, yes, I did taste the alcohol, and y yes, I was like... But it, I got used to the taste after a few sips, and I finished a little less than half of it because my dad told me not to finish all of it. He's like, this is your first drink. No, it's my third, but the first two I did not like. So he finished the rest of it, and my mom tried it. She's like, wow, this is really strong. And I'm like, great. Now I can't finish all of it. And no, I did not get drunk, and I did not get wasted. That was not, I didn't drink to get wasted. I drank because I'm 21, and I need to, I mean, obviously now when I go out on a date, <laughs> or when I get married, I don't like to taste of alcohol now, people are going to be like, Trisha, you're having a Coke, and they're all having these fancy schmancy drinks. And no, I did not do it because of that either. I really wanted to try it, you know, ever since, you know, I was young, I always looked at people drinking these really good looking drinks, and, you know, I wanted to drink that. Um, so, yeah. So, overall, it was really good. And even when I was drinking an apple tea, the lady said, 
Excuse me, what is that? I said, an opportunity. She's like, oh, it looks really good. I said, oh, uh-huh. And I'm not telling her it was bad. <laughs> Let her think what she wants to, if she wants to order, she can order. I thought it'd be sweet. I think my grandfather was like, you tried that bikini? That's not a good first drink. A good first drink would probably be sweet wine. I don't know, to be honest. Uh, but for those of you who will want to try apple tea or who like apple teenies, um, I think that my uncle told me Robert De Niro founded the drink. Thank you, Mom. Huh. I remembered. <laughs> um, so anyways, keep watching my videos. <laughs> um, it is getting cold here in the south. In I don't have to tell you where I live, that's so weird. You're gonna like Google me and then you're gonna find me. Anyways, it is getting cold here. It's usually very sunny. They said it would reach the 70s today, Fahrenheit. Um, but it is cold here. A little bit now. This is Trisha. Keep watching my videos. I love you all. My hair, I, maybe it looks the same to you. <laughs> Anyways, this is Trisha.